Hi everyone, it's Raquel and today's recipe is going to be a pot of cow heel soup, Trini style. In Jamaica, it's called cow food soup. A bit different in cooking technique, but the results are the same. It's so delicious. So here I have about one and a half to two pounds of cow heel or cow food, nicely clean. Now to my pot, I'm going to add a tad bit of cooking oil along with some chopped onions and garlic which go hands in hand when it comes to flavor. Also to this, I'm gonna add some chopped pimento peppers for more flavor. And I'm gonna saute this for about a minute so it could release its flavors. Also to this, I'm gonna add some fresh thyme and a few pimento seeds, which is very optional. So now that these have become softened and smelling really good, I'm going in with the cow heel and I'm just going to mix everything together. Now to this, I'm going to add some water, making sure everything is fully submerged. And I almost forgot the split peas, which was soaking in water for a few hours, just to soften it up a bit. And this split peas is the base of this soup, giving it that creamy, thick texture. Also to this, I'm going to add some carrots and some salt. And I'm going to cover this down under the lowest heat and allow it to cook for about one to one and a half hours until the meat is nice and tender. But if you want to save time, just add this to your pressure cooker. Cooker. one and a half hours later and the texture of this soup has formed it's creamy and thick and that's a result of the split peas and the cow heel is really nice and tender now it's time to add the provisions and season up this pot now in with some sweet potatoes pumpkin and regular potatoes but you could add whatever provisions you like And you know there's no way you could have a pot of soup without dumplings. So I'm going to make some cornmeal dumplings. So to a container, I'm going to add about one cup of flour, a bit of cornmeal, and a tip of salt. I'm going to add some water, and I'm going to knead until I've created a nice firm dough ball. And you can go ahead and make your dumplings in any shape or size you like. Here I'm making some spinners. Then I'm just going to add this to the pots and I'm just going to mix everything together. So now that all the provisions are in, now it's time to flavor this soup. So now I'm going to add some chopped scallion, thyme and pimento peppers. One whole scotch bonnet pepper. A Maggi all-purpose seasoning. Also, I'm going to add some green seasoning and just flavor, taste, and adjust. Also, going to add some all-purpose seasoning. And as I said, just flavor your pot, taste, and adjust to your liking. Now, I'm just going to cover this down and allow it to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. You could even add some okra to this. And that's it guys, a pot of soup. It is that simple. Cow heel soup, cow food soup. Thick, flavorful, and so absolutely delicious. Remember, if you like this video, don't leave without clicking the like button. Thank you so very much for watching.